All right, so in this episode of Men's Essentials, dear gents, we'll be discussing, we'll be talking about five very versatile yet five very classic, five very timeless men's shoe that you should have, that you can try having and owning and styling in your wardrobe. So my name is Mangala Sharya. This is Men's Essentials. This is the ongoing series of Summer Essentials on Men's Essentials. In case you haven't watched the previous episodes, watch it. Come back and watch this one. Anyway, let me just shut up and go. Okay, so first thing first, realize this and understand this that summer is a very specific season for style and fashion, especially when it comes to men's style and fashion. There are a few fabrics, there are a few shoe materials which you can wear during the summer, but the same fabric or the same materials i would not recommend you try wearing any time else i mean that's just how things are and that's just the beauty or the con of living in a very humid or hot summer weather so yes there are a few shoes there are a few style pieces that makes everything very stylish and very attractive but there are a few things you should not be doing especially if it's not summer so that being clear that being said let's talk about my five favorite summer shoes of this season <laughs> okay so shoe number one rather footwear number one might surprise you all might surprise some of you for sure and that is gentlemen none other than a flip-flop but hey mind you you're wearing a good leather flip-flop and mind you you're only wearing it with your shorts or when you're running around near or close by your house i mean if you are going anywhere beyond 250 meters or 500 meters if you are going anywhere that's not in a close by proximity of your house i would not recommend to wear a flip-flop ever but if you do want to wear one if you do want to wear flip-flops as it is when you're trying to go downstairs or go around and get some work done i would recommend you invest in a nice leather flip-flop basically a brown or a black color gentlemen this basic flip-flop by the nature of it won't dress up your shorts but it will make it look a whole lot better than you wearing some sporty sandals or some plastic bathroom weird looking slippers anytime so i would not recommend you do that i would not want you to have that look ever i would personally want you to wear something that will look good regardless and make sure you're wearing this with your shorts and your joggers to some extent when you're nearby your house and that will be the end of it i don't want you to wear it to a mall i don't want you to wear it to a dog walk i don't want you to wear it any place beyond 500 meters from your own residence be aware of it be advised and do the needed thing Slippers or flip flops, if you do want to wear one, get a black or a brown leather piece, wear it with your shorts and joggers, and keep it very close, keep it very nearby to your place. I would not recommend you, I would not ever recommend you wear it anywhere else besides something or somewhere very close by to your residence. I hope this makes sense. I hope you style your flip flop like so. Now, the shoe number two or the material of the shoe number two is very seasonal or very specific to the summer like i said at the very intro of this video there are a few materials there are a few fabrics that you use in a set given season and this particular piece of material this particular type of material is actually tailored made for the mighty summers and that material being the material is none other than suede leather if you want you can have a suede leather brogue you can have a suede leather oxford you can have suede leather chaka boots Chelsea boots and any of that good things. So yes, you can wear a boot, you can wear a bro, you can wear an Oxford, you can wear a Chelsea if you want. You just have to make sure the material of the leather is suede and it is something tailored for the mighty summer. Now this brings me to a shoe, a summer shoe that I think I have worn the most this season and that is none other than the white sneaker or the white Vans old school. I mean it's not really about the Vans old school or any specific brand. The whole idea is white can sneaker is something I have been a big fan. And I have been wearing them with my jeans, I have been wearing them with my chinos and even shorts for that matter. I mean in case you haven't seen it in the lookbook video, in case you haven't seen yesterday's video, you can click the index card, watch it and see how many times and in how many different ways I have styled my white Vans because I love the way it looks on any given outfit. One of my favorites, one of my all time favorites, can't go wrong with a white pants old school but hey if you want to save some money if you want to keep things a bit more classy and if you want to buy a shoe a white canvas shoe that can actually work well with your apparent chinos and other types of jeans as well then i can recommend you try a converse which is my fourth favorite 
summer show on the list. Now I would not recommend you get a white Converse in case you already own a white Vans because that just makes no sense. That would make no sense to having two white sneakers. But in case you do not have a white Vans, you can try owning a white Converse and you can try switching things with your white Vans, a blue Vans or a black Converse and things like that. The idea is both these shoes are very different yet very same at the same time. They are both canvas, they both have a specific style but they both look very distinctively stylish the same time so make sure you are aware of how you're styling it make sure you know what you're doing with your sneakers or with your vans converse whatever it be and make sure you're styling them right <laughs> i mean i love my white stan smith so much that i even wear it with my suits for that matter so if that's your taste if that's something you want you can do that as well but the last summer shoe is actually a list of two summer shoes because i haven't spoken about a dress shoe in this video and i had to give you a pair of nice sexy men's formal shoes that you can wear in the summer if you do want to dress things up in the summer and the fifth one or the fifth and the sixth one on the list on this list is the penny loafers because that's my all time favorite i have been wearing them i have been recommending them for a very long time tan is a very good cheerful and colorful color for the mighty summer so in case you haven't you can try wearing a tan loafer or if you're not a fan of loafer if you don't want to have a loafer if you do already own a loafer you can try owning a tan monster the idea is tan color being the summer color that i would want you to try and experiment with because this is probably one of the best reasons you can get yourself a tan leather shoe in case you haven't gotten your hands on till date give it a shot try them all and do let me know your thoughts in the comment section box down below but for now i hope this video helps i hope this video gives you the five basic or six basic shoe ideas that you can own and wear and style during this mighty summer but for now i love to get back to work I have to produce a whole lot more videos. I'll do that. I'll probably be giving you a lot more vlogs. In case you want to see some vlogs, you can head over to our Hindi channel and watch the behind the scenes and a lot of other good things on that channel. Anyway, I have to get back to work now. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to dress up, stay strong and stay silent, gentlemen. My name is Mangra Sara. Thanks a lot for watching. I much appreciate your views. I much appreciate you subscribing and pressing the notification bell and checking up on Instagram as well. I'll go do that. I'll go to make a lot of views for you. So, see you in the next one. Press up, stay strong, stay silent.